the space race. A battle between the US and the Soviet Union. A battle of power, wits, courage, and brains. This is the road to Apollo. and I would like to talk to you today about one of America's biggest accomplishments and events, the space shuttle, which was the space shuttle Apollo 11 landing on the moon. It was just one ordinary Sunday for me and my friend when I was just 13 years old, July 20th, 1969. We were just skipping rope and playing hopscotch outside when all of a sudden my father called us in and told us and the rest of my family members to gather around the TV, set and watch something that I never thought that would ever really happen. America landing on the moon. Seeing Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin take steps and walk across our moon was such a surreal sight. It was like a dream come true that someone actually from America, two ordinary Americans, were just walking on the moon. Just like that. It was such a wonderful accomplishment for our country at the time. We beat every single nation in the space race, especially the Soviet unions who we wanted to defeat. I remember just wanting, I kept looking up at the moon to try to see if I could really see if they were there. I ran out, me and my friend, we'll try to see. It was one of the best moments that I've seen and I'm so happy I got to witness it. After learning about the space race, we were curious about the technology, so we invited an engineer from MIT to help us on this research. Mohammed Khan is very experienced in his field of robotics and engineering. He will help us explain the technology that went into the Apollo 11 rocket. The space program that was a creation of NASA in 1958 by Dwight Eisenhower. NASA took the best and brightest from the best universities in the nation and put them to work creating the rocket. or the things that they were launching into space. They took people from MIT, Stanford, and Caltech and at the creation of NASA, which was in response to the Soviet Union's entrance into the space race. The Head Start, half a decade later, was created by Lyndon B. Johnson in response to the Soviets launching Sputnik. The Head Start provided for comprehensive education for the students in the United States. And with the Head Start, it ushered a new wave of technology. You, you got technology like the CAT scanner, you got the computer chip, you've gotten the navigation system, you've gotten the insulation. These, these things were Im implemented into the rockets because of programs like Head Start and the cooperation of Head Start with NASA or MIT. The technology played an integral part in launching Apollo 11. Technology such as the CAT scanner, which was used to detect faults into the rocket in the rocket system. This was integral to make sure the rocket launched properly. Or technology such as the computer chip, which was a supplement to the navigation system given to NASA by MIT. All this technology completely changed the game for the U.S. and entry into the space race and led to the launch of Apollo 11. 
This revolution in technology impacted the home front, where computer chips were repurposed as motherboards for computers. CAT scanners became MRI scanners. Aluminum alloys for the space shuttle became commonly used in cars, making lightweight and more efficient cars. You have the development of a computer because of smart navigation systems used by NASA. All this technology led to complete increase in the standard of living in the home front. And it showed how something as far off as Apollo, the launch of Apollo 11 can impact something as close as home. In this picture, Neil Armstrong is seen standing near the American flag, but as you look closely, the wrinkles on the flag shows that it appears to be flapping. What's odd about this is that the moon has no wind. This suggests that the government tried to make the landing more realistic, but did not know the real science of the moon. In the second picture, we see Buzz Aldrin and a reflection of his visor revealing Armstrong and the Eagle Lunar Lander. The question posed in this famous photograph is who took the picture? There were only two astronauts on the moon. This suggests that the picture was a studio planned photo. This was a major mistake made by the government. The third picture shows the skies of the moon. Do you see what's missing? Yes, the stars. The government forgot the space has stars. The missing of this small detail clearly reveals the government's failure to conceal their lie. The last evidence shows a shadows of objects going in opposite directions. This is a dead giveaway to how the studio had multiple lighting in trying to recreate the moon landing. Why would the United States do this? America was losing the space race to the Soviet Russians. The launching of Sputnik by the Russians created competition in the race. America was in need of a victory to boost the morale of many. The lies were to silence the critics of the space program who argued the high percentages of America's money going to funding research was useless. With the ability to create a lie as major as this, what else has the government lied about? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Every precious 